Hello world, welcome to the 43rd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the third video in my Raspberry Pi playlist, and today we'll be installing the Element 14 Raspberry Pi 7-inch touchscreen. All right, so please make sure that you've watched the first video where I unbox the Raspberry Pi and the second video where we um, set it up because we're going to build off of that. So first, you open your box and there should be the actual 7-inch touchscreen. And mine already came with the board attached and this plugged in. So if yours does not do that, you'll need to screw this board in and then just plug that in right there. Okay, once you do that, you lay it face down like this. Okay, then you should have received one of these right here. So this blue end right here is where it sits against the connector. And this silver end right here is what connects to the connections. All right, so the first thing you'll do is right here is this connection right here where the DSI it says display. Okay, so you just use your fingers to wiggle loose the black connector. And then with the silver connections up, you're going to install it. Just kind of wiggle it in there. And then press down on the black connectors. And then um, wiggle right to left. There you go. Then you should have also received connectors like this. So take out the black and red one. You can use whatever color combination you want, but black and red is traditionally power and ground. And then you're going to take this red one and connect it here where it says five volts, five V. So go ahead and connect that like this. Then this black one, will go right here on the ground. Okay, there you go. Now you may see um, other instructions go a different way, but I'll show you why I did the way I did first. Then you take your Raspberry Pi board, make sure that you're following this playlist that you have the SD card installed so I'm not going to say who, but someone may have forgot to do that. And I couldn't realize why it didn't boot up. So hypothetically, make sure this is in there. Then you're going to rest it. There's four holes. And you're just going to align it with those set screws. Then you're going to screw it in. So I'm only going to do two screws just so... I trust that you know how to do this part. Okay, next you'll see two rows of general purpose input output connectors. The outer row or the row farthest away from the electronics are the even row. So two pin two, four, six, eight, etc. The inner one closer to you, the electronics, are the odds, one, two, or one, three, etc. So what you want to do is connect this red one that's hooked up to five volts to pin one, or on pin two, right? And then the black ground to pin six. There you go. And that's all you need to do for power. And then right here is another one of those black display cables. So same thing, you lift up here, then you place the 
connector like that. And there you go. And that is it. Now you take your power supply cord right here and you plug it in. Make sure this is the official Raspberry Pi power cord because I've read that a lot of people are experiencing troubles with other power supplies. So it has to be true power. So we're going to connect this. Okay. And then we should start seeing the boot up layers. So it's super hard to see because of the glare. But I'll try to hold it at an angle. There you go. And we'll see the four Raspberry Pi logos. And then we should see the desktop. I still have my traditional temple, right? That's the default. I have not done anything to it. So it's hard to see with the glare, but that's it. It's installed. So you could click a browser. Touchscreen is enabled. And you can't see. There you go a little bit. But my chromium is on and that is it let me exit out of that okay it's hard to do while i'm holding it like that and that is setting up the raspberry pi touchscreen pretty easy so Leave a comment if you're experiencing any problems. I would love for my comment section to be a great place for helping people troubleshoot. If you've installed yours and it doesn't turn on, the touchscreen doesn't turn on, but the lights turn on. Right here, this red light and then the green light right above it then you might not have your SD card formatted correctly. So make sure you watch my second video. Uh, link is in the description. And also the other one is if you're not using an authentic Raspberry Pi power supply. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe and uh, thanks. Goodbye world.